welcome to Deep Thoughts While Driving, me, myself, and I. Just a little quickie here. <sighs> Medications and the effects they have on us. The reason why I'm thinking about this one today is... Um, the doctor I've been seeing for some of the issues I have with the muscle tension and problems I got in my back. He's put me on some vitamins. Three vitamins. Uh... D, one of the D vitamins, a K vitamin, and uh, mag uh, magnesium, something or other. I can't, can't say it. So anyhow, the gist of it is, you need to take this one low dose twice a day. K, and uh, the side effects are once you get up, you know, if you get up to too high of a dosage, is it can cause stomach irritation. <laughs> and diarrhea so basically find the dosage that you can handle and stick with it and I gotta take this shit for uh, three weeks before I go in and see him next well I've been having stomach problems since before I started taking this, pro these, this stuff I don't know if I'm fighting off a stomach bug or whatever but could be my diet exercise lack of exercise I don't know Stomach's been kind of sensitive like, before I started taking this stuff. But I know, started taking this stuff, holy crap, is my stomach screwed up all the time now. It's just constantly bugging me. Uh, apparently I was didn't get much sleep last night because the wife tells me I was moaning and groaning all night long. Clearly my stomach buggy me while I'm sleeping. Well, I'm at the lowest dose I can really take right now, and instead of taking it twice a day, maybe I take it once a day or something. <laughs> like. The point of this is, um, sometimes the medication you gotta take for daily to make your life better, the side effects of the medication could be worse than the damn medication uh, than the problem you had originally. Um, I say this because I was, I was a, well, I am, I suffer from migraines. I was taking this stuff, Indoral or Propanol, or it goes by a couple other different names, and. One of the things it can do is it can lower your blood pressure because what it does is it dilates or opens up the blood vessels in your brain so that you don't end up with high blood pressure in your brain causing more pressure migraines so on and so on you get the idea okay <laughs> well originally this medication was used to treat irregular heartbeat now here's the kicker long-term use of this stuff can cause the side effects to be more apparent and one of the side effects of long-term use of this medication was it can cause irregular heartbeat. Yeah. Which, guess which one I got? Irregular heartbeat. So, I wasn't, if I didn't take this stuff every day, once a day every day, I ended up with migraines. But what's worse, migraines or irregular heartbeat? I'd rather not screw up my heart. I got the base piercings and I stopped taking the daily medication and I'm doing better. The only problem is I still get random bouts of irregular heartbeat due to long-term use of that crap. So, again, medications and their side effects. Sometimes the side effects of taking the medication can be worse than the reason why you're taking the medication in the first place. Another example is I used to work with a young lady who um, got the depot shot. Well. One of the problems of the depot shot for her is it, call, it caused what's called osteopenia, which is the beginning stages of osteoporosis. Basically, your bones become hollow and brittle and breakable. I'm, she's right around my age, so she's in her mid-40s. So by the time she's 80, she'll sneeze and break a hip because her bones are becoming so brittle. Again, one of the cases of side effects from medication being worse than the medication that what you're doing taking a medication for and depot shot it's a birth control for Christ's sake so yeah um if you are on any medication or a doctor starts putting on medication seriously take a look at the side effects and judge whether it's worth the effect it could have on your life a little health and safety tip there for you that's it I'm done Later.